Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Guy TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the NECA Toonie Terrors in Nightmare on Elm Street. This is Freddy Krueger. So real quick, this is for ages 17 and up. Uh, warning, choking hazard. As you can see, it's got the movie studio um, theater background there. Freddy Krueger on the sign. And on the back, there's the boiler room. It's supposed to be a cutout backdrop. I'm not going to cut it out, but whatever. So now let's go ahead and open them up. As you can see... My box did get a little crushed in transit, but oh well. I'm going to take them out of the package anyway, so let's go ahead and rip into it. So here he is, guys. Fred Krueger. Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street. Done in the style of the old Hanna-Barbera fl filmations. Oh, um, well, Hanna-Barbera Scooby-Doo. <laughs> very cool figure not a lot of articulation he does come with a display stand but you almost have to force the pegs into the bottom of his feet uh, the pegs are way too big not way too big just slightly too big for the bottom of his feet um, a good display figure he's going to go along well with my other collectibles uh I did manage to get him and Jason Voorhees, which we'll be taking a look at next time. But let's go over his articulation real quick. His arms do go up and down, all, almost all the way around, as you can see. And you can have him just like that, kind of holding his bladed hand, his glove. Um, this arm does go all the way around. See, does his hat come off? No. Uh, his head is on uh, a slight ball joint. You can go slightly down, slightly up, all the way around. The legs do not move. He has no ink or he has no waist articulation, no feet articulation. The pegs, as you can see, are one there, and there's one holding this foot in place or holding on to that foot. Um, the design is very, like I said, it's very reminiscent of the old Scooby-Doo cartoons, but it's very nice. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Very nice. And they decided to go for a red and black striped sweater as opposed to red and green, um, which I think the red and black looks a lot better. And as you can see... His, red, his hand does turn all the way around. Uh, this one, his gloved hand, does as well. And let's take a minute to appreciate the paint on the, blade, on the blades themselves to make them look reflective almost. Let's see, how do I want to display this guy? Hmm... We can display him like he's getting ready to cut you. Or, we, and I guess it does go all the way around because you can swivel his hand. Um, we can display him kind of like the rebooted Freddy Krueger where he's flicking his blades. And they are made out of a softer plastic. So they are probably pretty brittle. I don't want to mess with them too much. For fear that they might break. But, uh... Let's go ahead and we'll have them displayed just like this. And if you're wondering how tall this guy is... Grab the handy dandy tape measure. 
He is about five inches tall. So anyway, there you have it, guys. This has been NECA's Toonie Terrors, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. Stay tuned next time when we take a look at the NECA Toonie Terrors, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.